In this video, I'm going to go over how students can successfully save their documents into their desktop folder. I know a lot of times students save things directly onto the desktop, but the main reason for that is because they don't actually know how to accurately save something into their folder. So I'm just going to go over the steps so that we can teach our students how to save things correctly into their folders. Um, I'm going to go into Microsoft Word and open up a blank document. And I'm going to show you what students normally see, which is why they run into a problem of saving the document successfully. If I want to save this, I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I want to save it over here into my desktop folder. Now this is the screen that most students see when they go to File, Save As. You'll see that I don't have a lot of options on where to save it. Right now, it says Where, and it's my Elements folder for science. I don't want to save this there. So if I click this drop down menu, I get options of where I can save it. At the bottom, you have all your recent places. So I recently did save something into my Miss Queso folder, so you do see an option there. Students don't normally have that because they haven't been successfully saving it into that folder. They've been putting things onto their desktop and dragging and dropping or just leaving them there. So what we want students to do is to always save in the expanded view. So when I'm on this screen, there's a way for me to expand it so that I can tell my computer exactly where I want my item saved. So I'm going to go to this upside down triangle and click that and it expands the view so that I can say exactly where I want it to go. So on the side now I'm going to select desktop and now I see my folder. I can click on it and I can title it and now I can click save and it's going to go directly into my desktop folder and it's saved right there. Now, if instead I went to File, Save As, and I was still in this screen, because, it's, because it always saves your last um, saving method. So if my screen is expanded, it will always show up expanded. If my screen is shortened, then it will always show up in this shortened view. But you can always switch in between them with this triangle right here. So let's say instead that I opened up this view and selected Desktop, which is what most students do because they can't see their folder there, and they click Save. That's when it goes right onto the desktop screen over here, and they have to remember to drag and drop it into their folder, or typically it just stays there for a while. Um, so now we know that the way that students can pull it into their folder is when they go to File, Save As, they want this expanded view, click that arrow, so that on the left-hand side they can select Desktop, then they can select their assigned folder. 